sons do not become their fathers. For it took us 300 years for our no to be heard. Yet because I own a V-shaped flesh, my no isn't heard. But I can't blame what we were taught to do. Give and take. For what we had was taken before we even knew. And although I was never there, the memories are still stitched into the fabric which created me. For the true face of history is scattered in the golden sands which saw more bloodied body than white sails that we now sell so cheaply. My fathers weep now, just as silently as they did then, only taking up a pitchfork when it suited them. The cries you hear now are only echoes of those crying under every city in the region. For our fathers weep now, Yet our fathers are still incarcerated for a plant the white man is now making millions from. But thank God, sons do not become their fathers. I know this because I am carrying one. Sons do not become their fathers. And when I lay on my back like you have always wanted our black sisters to, and I open my legs to a miracle you can never do, and I scream in the agony that is life. And I bear a pain indescribable, a pain which eclipses every gunshot, wounded, piercing words, and soul-trenching rape you brought upon me. And I use the breath handed down by my forefathers. And I push a soul wrap, flesh wrap, soul out of me like I, a soul-carrying sack. And when he takes his first way, like what he will always do for the rest of his life, to indicate that he is alive. I will grab him by the nape of his neck, while the cord that attached him to me is still attached. And I will look him in the eye to ensure that his first vision is that of a pain-stricken face of a woman. And I will tell him in a voice of exhaustion and relief, that sons do not become their fathers. For you are more than the soul your skin is wrapped into. That you will not repeat the same mistakes nor bear the shames that are your fathers. That you will not walk the broken path they will lay in front of you. That you will use your voice that the God intended it to be. That you will not be ashamed of your anatomy and your anatomy will bring you no shame. That the only pain your hands will cause is to write the truth and expose the liars, masters, teachers, and healers and leaders. And that you will use your third eye to see your friends. For your enemies will be known to you. And that you will tell your sons one day, as I have just told you, that sons do not become their fathers. Good night.